Hello to everyone. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to A New Point of View, our digital edition. So today is a Thursday, 30 July, and we are very pleased to introduce you to Scania. So, welcome Azzurra. Ciao Azzurra. Hi, Orieta. How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. Can you see it? I'm full of color today. Yeah, full of colors behind. Yes. I'm glad to see you. And I would like, first of all, to thank you very much for this opportunity and to present myself and the tannery. And I hope to give you all half an hour of joy and fun in introducing the company and the new collection. Okay. Uh, so, for first of all, I think it's better to introduce myself because for those who never met me before, my name is Azzurra, Azzurra Giannoni, and together with my brother, Francesco, uh, we are the CEO of Tuscania Industria Conciaria Spa. But we'd like to um, uh, present ourselves as part of Tuscania Beautiful World. This is the reason why we, I gave you the title of Tuscania Beautiful World. But before introducing this beautiful world, I'd like to talk about the funny competition that we organized. And if you had the opportunity to enter in our, um, in our uh, for example, Facebook or Instagram, so the social, you can see that now, in this moment, we have uploaded a series of questions. So it's a very funny competition. It's called a nice prize because the first person who will reply to this question that are concerning what I'm saying during this presentation uh, is going to win a leather backpack, a Tuscanian leather backpack made with one of our new item that of this presentation so i think this is the funny way to uh to reward the attention of people that are listening to us today so can i can i just say yeah. again? because it's really it's really new i never heard yeah. that you mean i'm already opening now my my instagram so the instagram of tuscania or the website now, there is there is in, in, in our website now because we publish it in our socials but uh, now the the funny quiz is in uh, the website you have to enter into Tuscania spa as soon as you enter you will find this funny competition is called nice prize competition and there are a series of questions very funny easy questions uh, that are regarding the presentation and so I because you know Sometimes when you attend a webinar, uh, it's sometimes it's very hard to stay, uh, to not fall asleep and to, say, to, to pay attention on the webinar. And we, we, we wanted to reward all the people that, uh, that, are, uh, that are listening to us. I'm sure that, uh, I mean, I, I want to tell you that you are out of this completion <laughs> because we want to reward a customer, but I mean, uh, okay. you can go on the web, on the, on the, on the I, I will send to you a, a, a present, Orietta. No, I, I, I just opened because I want to be yeah. alive because we are all just uh, in a smarter way, we want yeah. to immediately so i think it's true what you are saying is true yeah so, perfect well we will okay. be ready to take part of the competition yes yes, yes. so good luck to everyone okay great then now i think it's the time to do to introduce our beautiful world and uh could you believe us uh could you believe me if i said that Tuscania is moved by the sun and the olives uh you will think that I'm joking, but I'm telling the truth and I will demonstrate to you. Uh, but let's start from the beginning. Uh, Tuscania was born in 1991 uh, for the ambition of myself and Francesco that wanted to, uh, to take a part of the leather business and to be, I mean, uh, be an important part of the leather business. And when we thought about a new factory, we wanted to build it up in a fully respect of the nearest environment. 
thinking about how a factory or an industry uh, can impact on the environment. So we look at each other and we said, what can we do uh, for, 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 the, for this ambitious point? And the first thing we did, we found out a green area in the heart of our loved Tuscany between Pisa and Florence. And we put a white dot, the white dot you can see here behind, yeah, a white dot into the, into the map. And before thinking, for example, where to put the drum, we thought about the flowers and the garden and the flowers that we wanted to see outside our work, uh, outside, you see. And before thinking how to organize, for example, the finishing department, we thought about the relaxing area into the garden. And I think, and we think, all of us, that the result is lovely because we have more than, you can see here, more than 2,000 square meter of gardens disposed in three levels and more than a tannery, Scania can be defined as a garden. And now you can understand why I said beautiful word. Okay, and you, you can ask me, for example, I think, why this decision? Why you, you made this decision to, I mean, spend time to deciding what, I mean, how to organize, for example, a garden? Be, or why you think that a tenor, I mean, a place is so important? because we firmly think that, uh, I mean, a factory can never be considered just a factory, okay? Because uh, a factory or, I mean, a place in which people work are a combination of a lot of people, in our case, 30 people, that love each other and also love what they're doing, okay? So the, the work they're doing. And they, they live together uh, 24 days. I mean, I mean 20, at, at almost eight hours a day, because it's, yes, it's unused to the night. Um, we have in a day, 24 hours, and eight hours we spent sleeping, okay? Eight hours we spent working, and the rest eight hours we spent thinking about working and trying to get a sleep. So <laughs> we think that, in, <laughs> you know, you know, you, you have 24 hours, but uh, everything is spent in our, in our place. So the important wow. thing is, yeah, to, 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 to have a wonderful world in which well, living, you know? Well, you, I, let, me, let me just add something that this means you think that if you want to create something beautiful, yeah. or wonderful, that it's amazing for some, some clients, it's very important that your employers, uh, they stay very pleasantly yeah. in a place with nature, with yeah. colors. So they don't think that they are working when they are in Tuscany. You're right. You're right. That's You're right. right. You're right. Yeah. Tuscania is a team of person that has all the same goal. And if they just produce and finish a high quality product, but also maintain a high quality production process. So uh, each of us has the same responsibility to achieve this important aim. Okay. Paying attention to the sustainability first and the environment around us. Uh, all of us. I mean, even, for example, Armando. Let me introduce you, Armando. Uh, okay, it's Armando. here. Oh, Armando. Armando is a small robot mm -hmm. that's part of the team and who takes care of the garden because the garden is something, flowers and everything is important because we, we, we eat here and we spend a lot of, I mean, of, of time here, okay? So even Armando has a, an important role into the country. Uh, to, to, yeah, <laughs> it's so nice. And um, okay, now let's go back to what I said at the beginning mm -hmm. and that Tuscania is moved by the sun and the olive. 
Toscana is moved by the sun because there is a cutting edge of a complex network consisting of 700 towers, 720 solar panels in the tannery roof that allow us to obtain approximately the two thirds of the energy requirement uh, for our manufacturing activity, okay? And uh, so this is the, the sun that moves the tannery. Uh, and the olives, uh, the reply is uh, in our natural re process that we use for many of our items that is based on the water recovered from the olive oil processing. Uh, and this process uh, allowed to produce leather with an excellent characteristic and performances that is comparable to the chromium retained, even if uh, it is not, we are not using metals, okay? So we can say that we have a, a, a team, we have a garden, we have the sun, we have olives. Some one of you can think we are farmers, but we are not farmers. <laughs> we are an industry, and so uh, we, 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 we are in the leather business. And you know that Scania is known around the world uh, as a tannery that develops and manufactures all reptile printed goat and bovine uh, leather for luxury shoes and leather good market. Uh, we create many items and I mean, all the, uh, every day we create a new item and we are inspired by our own tradition. For example, I have been inspired by my traveling, uh, but what I see, but what I read. And um, I mean, the, we, we are inspired by our own life, daily life, and also by the, our customer input. So if you see, uh, you can see our, um, uh, our showroom mm -hmm. that is like a deep in a colored world. Uh, we spend a lot of time inside it and we, yeah. we study, we develop, we try to find out, some, find out something new every day, yeah, to develop. And sometimes we, we thought about to put a bed inside because it's very, I think it's very relaxing. I mean, we, it's, it's relaxing to stay there. And so you, you, you know, you, 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 it's like you dip in the colored. You are, you are deeper in the, in the, in the yeah. skin. So uh, you mean in this case, you can also organize tour and people can just stay there yes. and live along yes. with and just to create together. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yes, yes. But as I said, I mean, before all of us, I mean, me, myself, and Primus, Francesco, and all the team, uh, we have a duty, a duty against the planet. And, and even if I define myself, I mean, the, the place as a beautiful word, Toscana is a tannery activity in the industry activity. Okay, uh, so in, in this year, um, we, we talk a lot about sustainability, environment, the problem of the planet, and, um, and we are used, uh, I mean, every day to ask ourselves, what can we actually do for the planet and for the, for, to, to have a better world in the future, okay? Um, I can say that we are very lucky. I mean, Tuscania as a tannery is lucky because we are placed in the Tuscan tannery area. I don't know uh, if you know Orietta, but the area here in Tuscany uh, is a forefront of sustainable luxury tanning because the industrial community of Santa Croce Sull'Arno uh, manage one of the most advanced water treatment facility in Europe that is called Aquarno. I don't know if you know about this, but I'd like to, to introduce to all the world. And we have also the, the closer circuit treatment of wastewater that is called Consorcio de Curatore. So, in, the, in this area, we are very well organized for the sustainability. Uh, but 
yeah, but as a CEO of a tannery, so as a CEO of an industry, uh, we have the responsibility to pay attention also to each step of our working. Okay, so in the tannery, we have to put attention and to have responsibility to each part of the process. Because all the supply, I think that all the supply chain must have the same responsible behavior on each production process. I said the same when we had the, 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 the spot for Linea Pelle for the sustainability, because I firmly think that each of us in our process, uh, whatever you did, you, you are done, you have to, to, to do it in a responsible way. For the for the for the sustainable world, okay, for the for the environment. Uh, so um, we think, uh, I mean, we think that this is the, the most important point to guarantee to to, to, to have a guarantee uh, that our product can respect what the the high quality level performances that. Uh, our customer asked because we follow, I mean, the performances that the customer are asking only if we follow all the step in the responsible way. So can I, can I add something? Because I would yeah. like to make you several questions in a certain way. So responsibility in this case, it's also something that is sharing with all the community yeah. and all the area where everyone help each other so yes. i guess you are not competitor in a certain way mm -hmm. because every one of you make that together you have an industry that respect environment yes. in the meantime it's also respecting the customer so yes. i like to highlight this part because made in Italy or produced in Italy and uh, uh, ma manipulated in Italy, in this case in Tuscany, means is one of the most important flavor of Italians. Yes. So everyone help each other for all the level in all the yeah. supply chain. Yes. This is one of the biggest parts of the quality. Yeah. Well, I guess that you can also explain to your client, where your animal is coming from, uh, which are the processes, they can leave it, they can see it. And also you can also, you can give the, consider, the right consideration that every year you have another step. To yeah. Yeah. So this is wonderful. This is part yeah. of a wonderful world. Wonderful world, yes. And we had, we implemented, for example, a physical test lab uh, where most of our physical performances uh, are, um, are done and follow um, because we want to pay attention and maintain all the requirements, as I said before, of what, of what customer ask. And uh, for each a uh, lot of production we had for example i don't know if you can see this is a leather testing card and that is uh, something that we we do for all the lot so we we can put into all the, 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 the skins because we made this test in order to maintain the quality okay because quality should be maintained in all the steps so our key words are quality in first, environment, social responsibility, and traceability, because we want to pay attention on the supply chain, all the supply chain, okay? And for this, we um, made the, 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 the three pillar integrated management system that are that running is IMS that are the most important, I mean, um, certification. We start many years ago with uh, the certification ISO 19, uh, 900, 9001. Uh, we place it, we take it in 2001. And then we pass the LWG, LWG program. And then most recently to the Unish Social Accountability. 
uh, that gives us also the opportunity to demonstrate our respect to the world of right. Uh, so in other words, as you said before, we try in our small part, in our small way, to lay a foundation okay, for a better future, because each of us has a responsibility as a community, so all together. Because we think that in a, we, we want to live in a concrete way, something and, and something much more concrete as an inheritance to our to our children. Okay, because uh, we think that each of us, but in first, uh, it's, a, it's a business owner that should think and work in this in this way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I, I can understand that this is a very important commitment. Commitment, right. Because when you said uh, you work with crafting methodology, but in an indus, industrial yes. way. So this means small and big scale. Yeah. So this means keep attention to the small details, but even try to reproduce Yes. in larger scale so yeah. larger amount of product in this case but respecting all the rules, all the rules. so this is yeah. really one of the most uh, challenging process yeah 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 so now uh, after having summarized i mean the last 20 years in those 20 minutes i think it's the time to talk about our new collection Okay, and uh, as I said before, we get inspiration from the world around us, always, and from the actual situation and from our dream and our hopes. Um, when we start studying the Fall Winter 21 collection, we were just finished the lockdown. Okay, so, uh, and we were anxious, all of us were anxious of normal life. There was a general, I mean, I think that was a general and great desire to get back, to go back to normal, to standard, to daily life. And I, I like to say that it was like a smell, I mean, a smell, uh, and all of us needed to, to smell the life, giving perhaps for the first time importance also to what we consider obvious, okay? So this big inspiration um, uh, gave us the name to the first trend. The, call, the, the name of this trend is Go Back to Normal Life. And it is kind of a normalization process that can be defined as classic and basic mood. And we thought that fashion needed a normalization process that is something different from the crazy world of the streetwear, you know, that we used to, to show before the COVID-19. And uh, following our point of view, after this pandemic, people need to get back to classic. That in fashion language means, uh, um, uh, means uh, classic, uh, really, I mean, uh, shiny and everything like this. And you can see from my back, there are four examples of uh, this. There are the Gaucho, the Wendy Nito. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, the Gaucho, Wendy Nito, and also, uh, where is the name? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the Millennium Lux Collection that has a shiny luxury finishing that is suitable for footwear and handbags collection. Uh, so we have a thickness that is uh, around 0 0.9, 1.1, and it's, it's, in, uh, it's suitable for the classic and constructive handbag, so the decorative shoes, for example. Um, uh, then after this, we have another, another family item that is also in this mood of classic, that is the Nappa. Uh, when we talk about the Nappa, everyone talk about the softness, okay? So you have something in your hand that is really, really soft. And uh, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, this, uh, I mean, you can touch it. So the thickness is much more, I mean, um, it's a little bit thinner. And 
it, it is not so shiny as the millennium, but it has the, the finishing that is much more flat, I mean, uh, matte. And we can have different finishing. We, we, if you see, there is also a brief, the, the finishing that is called brilliant mm -hmm. because it has a special finishing on the top that it gives this kind of brilliancy. But we can develop this brilliancy in all the embossing plates. So you, if you choose a different embossing plate, we can make in this brilliancy. I have something to ask you. I yeah. think this kind of brilliancy very sophisticated, which yeah. is not too much bright. No. It seems no. like to be a little bit opaque, a little bit more elegant. So is that something like this? It's correct. Is that correct? Yeah, that it's correct. It's not, uh, I mean, in the Napa, it's not a very shiny brilliancy, but it's like a, a purple, you know, it's a purple brilliancy. And uh, one of the, the most important things to, to, to say is that we implemented uh, a Tuscania lab that is a laboratory where a customer can come and we can study together the item they want to develop. So, for example, if they need to develop a special, a different embossing with a different finishing uh, in this mood of Napa, we can do for them. We, we can, for example, make the, the metallization effect. Uh, this is a family item, okay? A family that it's uh, the, the Napa family, which is the, the, the hand feel is very soft. Uh, the, and we, we can develop in many embossing plates, okay? Uh, now we, we can go on another, uh, another inspiration that is called go back to vintage style. If you see from the picture here, there is a, it's like, um, there is a, it's like a general need to go back to the old style, the style that can back, I mean, to the world of nature, the landscape. Uh, we call it horse, uh, just because, I mean, for us, it seems that it's something that goes on the Saturday world. Uh, in, this, um, in this mood, uh, you can see a lot of two-tone effect. So there is, uh, there is uh, the, 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 the black, for example, in the valley of the Troco, there is a lot of hand staining. So there is uh, uh, light and dark together. I, I love this very much uh, because it's like, um, it's something that seems to be a degradé effect. So you have the black and then the light color. Uh, so it's a vintage style, it's something that goes on what we all of us know, that is the past. The past, the nature, and something that is much, much more comfortable than the future. You know, because future is unknown in this moment, but the past and the classic mood is something that every one of us know. Okay. I, I think this is very sophisticated because you have several tones yeah. that give this contrast and give this kind of, let me say, deeper effect of the vintage. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is, for example, the canyon or the Antilla horse hold. Uh, the, in the canyon, there is a general hand staining on the back. So you can see all the, uh, this is the canyon, is the one in the, the last on the right. And you can see this double tone underneath. So it's like a sponge that gives all this effect, a special effect. On the other one, the Antilla also, the first one on the, on the left, uh, you can see uh, the, the, the black in the valley of the crocodile. So uh, it's wonderful because it's really something that is very close to the horse word or the salary word. Okay. Uh, then there is another, the, the third, the, the third big, trend that is called the emotional word. What, what we mean, what we, what Scania mean with emotional word? Uh, this, I think that this trend is still the consequence of the situation or the world feeling after the pandemic. Because you know that during the pandemic, 
people had to stay alone, okay? Social distancing was one of the rules adopted for all the, I mean, the world uh, to fight the COVID pandemic. And people need to embrace, to, to have a, a touching, to, to, I mean, just a simple touch, yeah, was needed. And so in this, how to say, uh, the emotion is given not by the visual attitude, by, but, but, but by the touch, the feeling of the touch. So uh, the family of item that gives us the touch feeling is the Nibok finishing. Uh, we call it FIBA family item that all are developed in the neighbor finishing and all of us know uh, how is the touch, uh, touching a, a neighbor, you, you can feel something. If you slide a finger in a neighbor finishing like this, you can feel something. So we develop a various number of uh, embossing or smooth, I mean, smooth like this, and various kinds of embossing. This, for example, is called the Coco Fiba, and it's a special one because uh, this two-tone effect is given by, I mean, a special hand process. We have a spray machine by hand that goes all along the lines by hand by a worker that gives this special two-tone effect to the item. Uh, so we have uh, something very particular like this. And then we have, for example, another one that is called Saudia. I think there is, uh, uh, I'll show you this. This is very nice because uh, uh, the embossing plate goes to cut, it's very deep, and goes to cut the surface. And going cutting the surface, you allow the, the, the embossing plate to hold uh, only when you pull it during the process of, for example, the shoe production. When you pull, the leather and you have the, the, the surface of the skin that's cut, the embossing plate cold. And this is very important for the, for the footwear process. So we study for footwear. Then we have the Merton, my favorite one, that is a braid uh, embossing plate. It's like something that uh, it's uh, uh, this one, I think, no, this one, this one, okay. Uh, okay, it's like a three-dimensional effect. It's like a braid. And if you touch it, you can have really a three-dimensional effect. So you have the kneebook finish and three-dimensional effect. Uh, this is, yeah, um, yeah, um, it's so beautiful. Touch it, this is beautiful. Yeah. It's really beautiful. I have here with me, uh, and it's really, really beautiful. You can, if you touch it, you can, you can feel uh, the braid. Okay. Uh, then into this emotional world, uh, there is also the float family item. Uh, here in this family, the touching is very important as well because the thickness is higher. We we, we are a thickness about one uh, to 1.3. So the, I mean, the surface is not flat, but the surface is very, I mean, wrinkled. There is the grain. So the feeling is given by the, when you touch it, you, yeah, you have not a smooth effect, but you have a touching that is like really um, a, a deep effect. Okay. You have a different relief, so yeah, you have yeah, a yeah. different thickness. Yeah, different thickness, and it's very beautiful. You can see from here, so for example, in the Ornellaia item, uh, you can see that it's, uh, this one is not smooth. Uh, it's something that is broken, so the embossing plate is broken and goes to broken the surface in this very thick, uh, I mean, uh, uh, substance, uh, you can have this feeling in touching. And this is very important. And the finishing can be done in a shiny, matte, 
gum. We present, for example, the Merlot gum that is here. And it's a kind of rubber finishing. So it's, it's beautiful because it's beautiful for the sneakers, the rubber finishing. But we think that also, um, I mean, uh, we, we have also fashion means also uh, dream, okay? Means also uh, uh, hoping. And uh, we, um, we think that in, during this lockdown, people uh, had a big desire to travel again. So to see, for example, all the color of India, for the people who never saw the, the color of India, or for example, to saw, I mean, the African safari. So th this inspired us to the world of color because, you know, uh, we, we are in a tunnel and we need to, to go, yeah, to open our mind. So here we have the Python word, and as you can see from here, you have a lot of uh, pattern. Uh, we have to be, we used to develop the Python collection on gold, but we are able to realize them also in cow in customer need, and or there, there are digital Python multicolor effect and various patterns. Mm. Uh, if you see from the picture that you have the mix of our, um, all the, all the, the pattern, uh, we have uh, two different family inside, uh, two different family inside. There are the Aspire family and the Kelly family. And that means that, uh, they are different techniques to make them. But I mean, uh, we can develop all the uh, the pattern that you have in one family. We can translate in the other. It's just something different because people, customer, need sometimes to have just the embossing, or people need to have the embossing and the wash finishing. So we have two different. But the the, um, the pattern are made in digital effect and can be done whatever you want. Okay, in the Tuscania lab, we can organize and we can develop all the parts. This is very beautiful, the Anna one, that you can see uh, the, this awesome. cover is made by hand uh, with a pencil. So it's, it's so beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. And this is nice because it's a mixed up of Python and the, the Leopard. The, the leopard design so it's a kind of mix yeah i love and it i really love it yeah you love it yeah it's running so the time is running and uh, we we forgot the yeah but yeah i i, I thought <laughs> yeah uh, i i have one of my favorite one and i'd like i think that you love it is the is the new uh, is the the fifth um, uh, collection and it is called light up the black. What we mean with light up the black is something we want to un to light up to unlight the black tunnel in which we are now. So right. it's something that yeah. So in this family item, you will see we will see some metal finishing yeah that goes to unlight the black. So for example, we have the cocon stan here where you can see this metal effect that is not so shiny. It's a metal effect that is like an oxide that goes to unlight the black underneath. So the black background. Then we have the metal mason, for example, uh, I show you. It's a python. You can see this python, mm. and there is this metallic effect uh, that goes to unlight the black. So, and finally, we have the rovo. This I love it. This is a an handscape python. You is a is a python that has been scaled by hand. And there is this metal effect that goes to, I mean, this is straight. We have a straight of black and a straight of metal. So it's wonderful. It's wonderful because I can see the drama. Yeah, you can yeah. see the drama. Yeah. And the drama of the lights. 
yeah. yeah. It's like it's like a light that goes to put a, uh, I mean a light that goes to switch on, okay, to switch on the black. It's like something like this. And um, then we have another one, another mood that is called the three-dimensional mood. I'm, I'm going faster because time is, is going. Uh, this is very nice because uh, we call it Pyrex and uh, there is uh, the 3D effect. Here we have really the 3D effect that is a mix of creativity and emotion, okay? So uh, we go from uh, a, a simple dot, for example, uh, like uh, the, the item that is called Lambrusco, there is a simple dot, little bit, and then we have, we go from, for example, to a button, uh, is a, the, the pattern of a button, and that is called Dolcetto, and uh, yeah, it's this. <coughs> and then we have some, uh, another item, mm, in which the finishing is, uh, a kind of metallic finishing that is, um, is uh, given by hand sponge, the NASA one. I think we can see yeah, this. You can see the uh, this like uh, yeah an effect of metallic given by a hand sponge. This is very really really beautiful. Yeah. And so, Azura, I really the time is over. I really, uh, ask, I really need to ask you to close this finish. part. Yeah, close this part. I don't know if you uh, this yellow is beautiful. Stay. Yeah, this is a flu effect in the 3D. Wow, yeah. really beautiful. And uh, the yeah. time is over, but I really think that everyone enjoyed this presentation uh -huh. and I also like to invite all of you yeah to, because the next September we will have our a new point of view physical edition uh -huh. so and this will be a time when I invite everyone to touch it in a yeah. real in a real effect and I'm sure that Azura we can go through all of other new items but yes but in, in a, i want to invite you to go to our website where this presentation and all the items of this presentation have been uploaded now and there is all there was also another family that i was not time to that was the most ambition because it was the recycle letter but this recycle letter will be i mean presented into the into the website Okay. Yeah, and in and also <coughs> the website for sure. Okay. We have after the August vacation, every yeah. we will have this kind of surprise. We have to leave something more. Yeah. So, grazie, Azura. Thank, Thank you very much. To all of you, someone did uh, make some question, and I already told to everyone that Azura will answer directly by email to okay. each of you because so many <coughs> things. Grazie. Bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you very much. Bye. bye. <laughs>